Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own third hand for soldering from parts you can find from the hardware store. Okay, let's get started. So a while back, I wanted to make my own third hand for soldering. And I ordered all the pieces on Amazon. And, they, and a couple months later, they still haven't came in the mail. So I went to the hardware store and tried to find pieces where I can build my own third hand for, for less than $5. So the first thing I found at the hardware store is the, these planned zip ties. These are going to be the main linkages for our third hand. Another thing you're going to need are uh, these alligator clips. If you can't find these alligator clips in the hardware store, you're probably going to be, probably can find some of these small clamps. They'll probably work just as well. You may have to do a little modification to attach the clamps to the twist ties. And I'll, another thing you're going to need or some crimp connections. Now these are the ones with the holes, so we can attach the twist ties to the alligator clips. And the last thing you're gonna need, which I don't have right here at the moment, is a small piece of MDF, MDF, and that's gonna be our base for the third hand. And tools you're gonna to need is something like a crimping tool. Now you might be able to use pliers, but I suggest using an actual crimping tool like this one. And another thing you're probably gonna need is a drill and a hot glue gun. Okay, let's start building. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach the crimp connections to the end of the twist ties. So I'm just gonna take one out. Now the first thing we have to do to modify this so it fits on is cut about half an inch of the rubber off the end of this and I'm just gonna be using a knife. So we're just gonna cut the rubber. Just like that. And we can slide the piece of rubber off. So you can see I have the exposed wire. I've exposed the wire. Put that down. Then we're gonna loop the end of the wire into a little loop. So we're just gonna take some pliers and turn it on itself. Close, close it. Now you're gonna need a tight loop, something like this. Something like this. Sorry about that, this camera. Something like that, small loop. Then you're gonna take your crimp connection, put it on the end. I'm actually gonna, huh, I'm actually gonna crimp this, make this a little bit smaller. Put the crimp connection on the end. There we go. As you can see, it's on the end. Now I'm just gonna be using and I'm just going to be using a crimping tool to crimp the ends of this. Just like that. See it's all crimped and it doesn't come off anymore. And that's all we have to do to modify one of these pieces. Okay, so the next thing, okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is attach the alligator clips to the end of the crimp connection. Now, I actually made a mistake. I bought the wrong crimp connections. I thought that the screw for the alligator clip would not fit through the hole, but it does, so I'm just going to be using a washer. Now if you're going to make it, I suggest buying one of the one, the small type, the red, they have a smaller hole, and the screw for the alligator clips won't actually fit through them. But besides that, I'm just going to be using a washer, it should work just as well, so we're just going to put a washer through. and screw the entire thing on to the alligator clip. And there we have that. Zoom out a little bit. Like that. All we have to do now is make five more. So here's the third hand fully finished. I did cut down the twist ties to about three quarters of size. Just the when it's the full length, it's just a little bit too long. So I cut those down, but I'm finished now. So I'll be using this for soldering in the upcoming videos, probably. And that's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye.